As a personal stylist and shopper, I spend so much of my time with lots of lovely ladies, all who have completely different body shapes, different shapes and sizes, and all with different style requirements. But the one main concern that I find they all have is knowing how to dress for their body shape. It is the one thing that can really affect how clothes sit on us. And it's also the one thing that can also give us lots of confidence or not so much. So with that in mind, it's really important that we know how to dress for our silhouette, how to accentuate the best bits and how to camouflage those bits that we may not feel so comfortable with. So in this look, I will be showing you how to dress for the two most common body shapes in the UK, the apple and the pear, completely opposite in terms of proportions, but both equally as beautiful. So forget about the weight on those scales, as this look is all about making the most of your silhouette and feeling the best that you can in your own skin. <laughs> So we're talking body shape ladies and the first thing that's really important for me to say is that dressing for your body shape is nothing to do with your weight or your size, it's all about proportion, it's about knowing where your best bits are, what's your most favourite part to show off and then the part that you maybe don't feel so comfortable with, it's about feeling confident with camouflaging that. If you get this right you won't even have any focus on the bit that you don't feel confident with, it's all about helping you to feel confident and comfortable with what you've got. So we're looking today at the two most common body shapes, the pear and the apple. It's also important for me to say that our beautiful models here today aren't necessarily illustrating those body shapes. It's just to show you the concept with the clothes. So let's start with our beautiful pear shape. So the pear shape holds all their weight on the bottom half of their body. You've got curvy legs, curvy bottom and shapely legs going all the way down. But in contrast to that, you've got a very petite top half. You've got a lovely waistline, petite shoulder frame, and a lovely décolletage. So the key with this is to make sure that all of the focus, all of the attention, all of the drama of the outfit is on the top half of the body. And that's what we've done here. Gorgeous Isaac Mizrahi floral printed t-shirt, lovely jersey material, so really soft and comfortable for spring summer. I have sort of folded that under so it nips her in at the waistline and gives her a bit more definition. And then it's all about the jacket with this outfit. By Trini and Susanna, gorgeous turquoise, which works really lovely on all different skin tones. And because it's a jersey material, you can also do it with your jeans. But as you can see, I've done a navy trouser, but the focus isn't even on those because my eye line is about the colour and the interest that's going on at the top half of the body. And I finished it off with this stunning pearl necklace, which again fills that gap and it just creates a lovely story on the top half absolutely loving it and it ensures that all of your loveliness is on the waistline perfect then we move on to our apple shape now this is a complete opposite to the pear shape which is why it's so interesting the apple shape is where you hold all the weight on the top half of your body so you tend to hold weight on your tummy and you've got a much curvier bust line and shoulder frame but in contrast to that, you've got a fantastic pair of legs. So that is where you want the focus and the attention to be. So I have chosen these striking pair of Attitudes by Renee print trousers, strong monochrome look. And as you can see, my eye line, your eye line, looking at them right now, will be there. It's about that graphic idea and it's showcasing her legs in such a powerful and beautiful way. I've chosen a Clark's little metallic pump with a little black bow on it because having a different shoe to black really elongates the leg line and it creates more of an effect down at the bottom half of the body, which is exactly what we want. I've then popped it on with a black top. So similar to what I did with Rachel's navy trousers, we're reversing that idea. So I've chosen a join, very simple zip detail tunic, which has a high-low hem, but the pleating and the floatiness of it ensures that it just hangs over that tummy. So it won't be clinging and it's gonna be giving you that comfort factor in an area that you don't feel so comfortable with. The jewellery is absolutely key for the apple shape. You don't want anything high neck because that will be making you look broader. You definitely, definitely want to go for these long chain necklaces. The eye line is drawn towards the centre of the body, giving you such a slimming and elongating effect. 
And then the other key for the apple shape is to stack up those bangles. So I've done a cuff and then these bronzo bangles layered over the top. And what this does is drawing the eye to one of the smallest points of the body, which is the wrist on most people. But for the apple shape, it's really important because your arm is sitting next to your waist. So you want to create all the attention and focus at a smaller point. So as you can see, the principles for both body shapes are completely different. They both look equally as beautiful. They can both get away with colour. They can both get away with print. It's just about wearing it in different ways. This look is all about embracing what we have. We're all different for a reason. And if you follow these rules, you can look just as beautiful and know that you feel totally confident all day long.